Hi Aquarius, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of August 22nd to August 28th, 2022? I'm going to take a look at your energy Aquarius, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates with you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, let's see, Spirit Angels and guys, please show me the energy of Aquarius in regards to love for this week. Thank you, thank you, Spirit. All right, let's take a look. First card we have in regards to you, Aquarius, is the Eight of Wands in reverse, the Queen of Swords, the Hermit card, the Empress card, the Page of Cups, and the Hangman in reverse. At the bottom of the deck, we have the World. Okay, with the Three of Pentacles and the Strength card. Hmm. Okay, Magician is in reverse here, King of Wands and the Two of Swords, Eight of Swords, King of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. Hmm. Wow, there's a lot of like thinking cards here. Aquarius, I do feel like you're doing a lot of deep thinking. You're thinking about um, the time that you have invested into someone or something with the Seven of Pentacles, the time, the energy, the effort that you have invested. Um, You might be wondering if it's worth it anymore. You might feel like you're not receiving much in return for for what you for what you've already invested. You might feel like you're doing a, a lot of work for very little for very little um, return. Recompensation, compensation. Hard work, small compensation. This could be related to your work also, your career. Yeah, some of you might be feeling like, you know, like you're a slave to, to what you're doing because you're you're putting in a lot of hours and receiving the bare minimum in profit, you know. Um, let me see. Your energy is a little bit difficult here to decipher. Tell me about the Queen of Swords spirit. Knight of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. Knight of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. Why is the Hermit here? Hierophant and the Death card. Yeah, it's like you you're you're reevaluating, you're re reevaluating something. Something that you've been working hard on, or something that you've been, you know, 
giving giving of yourself giving a lot of yourself towards and you might feel cheated in some way with the knight of swords and the four of pentacles it's like you feel cheated you feel like you deserve a lot more you deserve to be receiving a lot more if you're feeling undervalued or yeah here a fun here a fun and the death card you're feeling undervalued underappreciated why is the Empress here? Oh, I think, yeah. This Empress is how, you, how you're looking at yourself. You're looking at yourself as the Empress. You know, you're looking at yourself as someone who, who has a lot to give, who has a lot to offer, who, who has a lot to contribute. You're, you're seeing yourself as someone who is powerful, someone who's valuable. Someone who deserves a lot more and than what you've been receiving. And with the chariot card, some of you are in this energy of feeling like you need to walk away from something because because it's just not it's not measuring up to what you know you deserve. It's not, it's not cutting it. It's almost like you're losing your patience. Um, you're losing your tolerance. Because I feel like you've, you've given, you, you've given it time. You've something, I don't know what, you've given something time. Like you've been patient. You've been flexible, but I feel like something is happening here that's causing you to reach your limit, you know? Reach your limit of, of what you can take. It's like you're not, you're not going to be bullied around or you're not going to be humiliated by anything or anyone you're not going to let yourself be humiliated by anything or anyone you're not going to let yourself be depreciated or bullied or pushed around or taken advantage of because i feel like you gave something a chance you know you gave something a chance to to prove itself or a person to prove themselves, but it doesn't seem to be working out. And I feel like you're in this energy of, I need to, I need to organize my prior priorities or I need to reevaluate my priorities. You know, so you're thinking about what's more important to me. Um, This thing that I'm working towards or my or my dignity or my pride, you know, or my self-worth. Yeah, because I feel like you don't want to give up on something, but at the same time, you feel like you can't keep allowing something to, to take away your worth or to minimize you, or depreciate you. Hmm. Yeah, so it's like, because I feel like with the Eight of Swords, it's like you don't want to, you don't, you don't really want to end things here with the Death card. Cause, because you already invested a lot of time and energy. So it's like it's it, it would be a big loss. But I feel like you're trying to you know evaluate what would be a bigger loss, you know. Is it this thing, whatever this is, or 
you know, maybe the bigger loss would be the loss of your, of your self-worth, of your self-respect, you know. That, that might be a, an even bigger loss. And like, what are you, which one are you willing to sacrifice? Which one is more important to you? You know, I feel like that's what you're thinking about here. But I feel like with the Hierophant and the Death card, I do feel like ultimately you are in this energy of um, choosing to put yourself first, choosing to put your, your self-worth first. And even though it's hard to walk away from this, it's like I feel like you're just going to accept accept this as a loss and like learn your lesson from it and you know do better next time or like you know um, be be more wiser next time so some of you for some of you this helped you learn some kind of lesson or is going to help you learn some kind of lesson that's going to be useful useful to you in the future So it does look like there's some kind of cycle that needs to close, that needs to end. And it, yeah, and it looks like you've been resisting it with the strength card. But with the three of pentacles, it's like the, the facts, the facts are accumulating to the point where you can no longer like turn a blind eye to it. It's like, it's too obvious at this point. It's too evident at this point. You can't keep ignoring it or denying it or like, like giving excuses for it. Because it's just like, it's too obvious at this point. Um, hopefully that makes sense. I have no idea what this is talking about, but Hopefully you know what this means. And I don't know if this is like in love for you, Aquarius, or if this is like related to a friend, some some sort of social circle, a friendship, a social circle, or a workplace, career, family, siblings maybe. Three of Pentacles can be siblings or um, a love situation, you know, or all of the above, I don't know. <laughs> all right, let's move on to your person because I don't feel like I'm getting anything else. Uh, let me look at the Page of Cups. What's going on with the Page of Cups spirit? Yeah, Four of Wands, there's that relationship. Four of Wands in reverse and the King of Swords in reverse. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is you, you're the Empress, and it looks like you're dealing with that Page of Cups from the looks of it, um, yeah. Because we have the four of wands in reverse here, so. so you're dealing with a page of cups and you're the empress. Obviously there's a, there's a, there's something wrong with that picture. <laughs> yeah. There's a big, there's a big difference there between you and this person that that little cup that they're offering you is not is not going to cut it it's not going to it's not equal to what you know you're worth you know it's not impressing you it's not it's not impressing you it's not motivating you um yeah That could be work-related also. All right, let's see. Spirit, angels, and guys, show me the energy of the person Aquarius is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. Thank you, thank you Spirit.
All right, first card in regards to your person, Aquarius, is the Four of Swords. Could be a, an air sign. Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. We have Six of Swords. We have the Three of Wands. Six of Wands. Nine of Wands. Eight of Wands. Okay, there's this is a whole bunch of nothingness here, um, Aquarius. I mean, this doesn't even look like someone who's a big a big presence in your life. Let's see. At the bottom, we have the Ten of Wands. Or if they are a big presence, it doesn't look like they're going to be to be a big presence um, anymore. Ten of Wands, Page of Wands, Six of Cups in reverse. For some of you, this person feels rejected by you with the Six of Cups in reverse here. I don't know, Fool. We have the Fool here. We have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, and we have the Devil. Ten of Cups in reverse. Yeah, Queen of Cups and the Five of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Two of Cups in reverse, Three of Swords. This person might feel like you, you have a third party. There's a third party situation. <clears throat> on your side they might feel like you're leaving them for someone else or you're you're involved with somebody else they feel like you're acting cold with them or you're acting detached or you're distant i don't know let's just let's just get to the point here oh look at that hold on Queen of Swords, Judgment, and the Seven of Swords. They might feel like you're avoiding them. Like you're all about your work with the Eight of Pentacles. Mm, they might feel like whenever you do communicate, it, it, always, um, it always starts some kind of problem, some conflict with the Five of Wands. Um, how is this person I'm um, seeing Aquarius, please? What is this person's view of Aquarius? The Seven of Pentacles. You're, they, they, you're working hard on something. How else do they see uh, Aquarius? The Knight of Swords. The Nine of Pentacles. And the Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah, they feel like you're all about yourself. They feel like you're very focused on yourself, focused on your work, your money, your goals. Um, what's that Knight of Swords spirit? They feel like you don't want to be bothered by them. Yeah, Emperor in reverse and the Hermit reverse. They feel like you don't want to hear them. Like you don't want to hear them. You don't want to listen to them. You don't want to deal with them, is what they think. I mean, I don't know, is that true? Let's, how does Aquarius um, view this person, Spirit? What, what is Aquarius's uh, view of this person? How do they see this person, whoever they're dealing with? You see them as the Page of Swords. Hmm. Page of Swords can sometimes be like like an annoying fly, you know? That keeps like buzzing around. For some reason I'm getting that energy of annoyance. Or like someone who's like constantly investigating you or stalking you or trying to get you know, trying to get information from you or about you, someone who, someone who's very critical over you. Um, how else is Aquarius seeing this person, Spirit? What's their view of this person? 
You see them as the Three of Cups in reverse. Oh, okay. How else? Seven of Wands in reverse and the Eight of Swords. Okay, so you see them as someone who's like lurking, you know? Someone who's like lurking around you, but they're not making any type of forward contact, forward like movement towards you. They're not making any direct contact with you. And how do you feel about this person, Aquarius? I really don't think I got that at all in your spread, in your in your energy reading. How does Aquarius feel about this person's spirit? What is Aquarius's feelings for them? The Nine of Cups. Oh. And the High Priestess. Aquarius, I don't know that you really care. How else? Tell me more. The Hierophant? This is such a different energy. You two are completely in different energies from each other. You're not you're not bothered by them or you're not letting them bother you. You feel like they're I don't know, trolling. If you feel like they're trolling you or or being like a hater. I don't know why I got that. A troll or a hater or someone who's just like look like looking to to pick a fight with you. You might feel like they're just looking to pick a fight with you, like they're looking for something to criticize you about. You might you might feel like you know this person already. You might feel like you already know, you know, what they're up to or you know what their what their patterns are. You might find this person very predictable. Like you might already know how, how this person operates or how this person works um, for some of you or, or you just, or even if you don't know them, it's like you just have your, the intuition, you have strong intuition that, that is telling you exactly what this person is doing. And it's like you're not feeding it, you're not feeding it. You're not feeding the monster. Because you feel like this person might be dramatic or immature or emotional, like overly emotional. And you might feel like if you feed it, then it's then, then things are going to get out of control. So I feel like you're in, you're kind of ignoring this person or just you're not letting them bother you. You're just kind of letting them do whatever they want, but you're not reacting to them and you're not giving them any... You're not giving them what they want. It doesn't it looks like you're not really giving them any access to you either. And this person feels like they're um they're seem seemingly walking away from you. Yeah, that's why I said with the Six of Cups. What did I say now? I can't remember what I said about this card. Six of Cups in reverse. Yeah, I feel like this person might be seemingly walking away from you, but it's it's seemingly. It's not true. This person is really, um, they're waiting for you, and they're they're trying to get a reaction out of you. They want you to chase them. They're obsessed with you, actually, Aquarius. We have Queen of Cups and the Devil. This is someone who, in reality, is obsessed with you, but they're definitely wearing a disguise and they're kind of um, giving off the appearance that that they're over you or that they're done, that they're walking away, that they don't care anymore with the Six of Wands. But no, it's not true. This person's obsessed with you. They're waiting for you. They just want to, they just want to get a reaction out of you because they feel like they're not receiving any type of, you know, any type of anything. They're, they feel like they're not receiving anything from you. They feel like you've turned cold and you've become distant. Mm -hmm. 
And it's like they're running out of ideas with the Page of Swords. It's like they've, or they've run out of ideas of how to, how to get through to you, you know, how, how to connect with you. It's like they, they're running out of ideas or they've run out of ideas. But I feel, I feel like this is someone who, but I feel like that's, that's their last trick here to like, hopefully by acting like they're, like they're leaving you, it might create some sort of reaction in you. Okay, I'm going to continue in the extended now, um, Aquarius, hopefully this resonated. I'm going to take a look at, in the extended reading, I'm going to take a deeper look at this person and I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you, what are their true intentions, and what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week. If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys, take care.